started just across the border in Chetamal and is taking over every sugar cane field in northern Belize. Researchers at the Sugar Industry Research and Development Institute, Siridi, have traced the origins of the destructive Fusarium fungus to neighboring Mexico. In just a few months, it spread like wildfire carried by air, water, and even heavy machinery, wreaking havoc across Corozal and Orange Walk. The fungus attacks the plant's roots, cutting off its access to water and nutrients and forcing it to fight for survival. Marvin Garcia is an extension officer at Siridi. But since this fusarium is so um, aggressive, the plant alone it cannot fight it. So we need to help the plant in this case. Sugar cane is the economic lifeline in northern Belize. And now this all-important plant is being wiped out by a deadly soil-borne fungus, fusarium. Today, we found out that of the tens of thousands of acres, not a single one is fusarium free. Once the fusarium is in, in the roots, they concentrate themselves in blocking the xylem. The xylem is the one responsible for transporting the, the water to, to the plant. Once that is blocked, and nothing can go up, and uh, also they start to deteriorate the roots. Once that happens, like what you're seeing, this is a plant here that has seven leaves. Two of them are healthy, the rest are already infected with the yellow coloration. So that means the ones that are infected are not fully in functioning and doing photosynthesis. There's growing concern in the sugar industry and stakeholders are sounding the alarm. If the fusarium fungus continues to spread, the 2026 crop could see some of the lowest sugar yields in history. And the warning signs are already here. Just five days ago this year, sugar season came to an early and disappointing end, with Prime Minister John Briseño calling it the worst crop in recent memory. The industry's projected loss this year is estimated at $50 million. The Prime Minister declared the Fosarium attack an existential crisis. We cannot and we will not allow this to happen, what happened to the citrus industry in the, in the north, south, to happen to our sugarcane farmers in the north. The Minister of Agriculture, Jose Mai, says the worst may be ahead of us. We expect that those fields that are showing right now um, mild chlorotic symptoms will produce very little cane this year coming. And if we see a field that has one third showing chlorotic symptoms, by the end of this rainy season, the full field will be covered. Farmers who rely on bank loans to grow sugar cane are feeling the pinch. With crops dying and yields dropping, many are struggling to cover basic needs like education and household expenses. On Monday, four sugar associations came together with a clear message. The industry is at a breaking point. They're now calling for higher prices on molasses, local sugar and electricity generation to help offset their growing losses. As we speak right now, Today is them, and this this um, this this fusarium is spreading over. Is nothing is being done. So if we don't do anything right now, if we don't get the assistance is needed, then we will end up with a with a sugar industry where we don't have any production. How will they service their fields? How will they feed their families? Right, that is something that the the government or the authorities should should look after. No, how this this year or how future years. Uh, will, be will be treated. But all hope is not lost in the medium and long term. There is a silver lining in this dark cloud. Trichoderma is a fungus proven to be stronger, more aggressive and able to defend the sugarcane plant against Vosarium. The experts at Sirdi are studying this defense mechanism using four strains from different parts of the world through confrontation tests. As you can see from the plates here, uh, this white stuff here is the fusarium okay. that's affecting the, the sugar cane. And then the 
Green stuff here is the trichoderma, fungus that is, uh, as you can observe here, it has already uh, engulfed the fusarium here. How are these ones performing? A pretty good answer. If you can see, here at the top is the fusarium and the green stuff here is the trichoderma. It has reached to the point here where the fusarium is, so the fusarium won't continue developing. And this other plate, the same one, as you can see the trichoderma has already engulfed the fusarium, so you cannot see the fusarium here. It's only the green stuff, which means that trichoderma, this strain is pretty good, aggressive. This is a very serious pest that we have. It's going to really affect us, but after all, I have that confidence that the roots are going to get clean over again and we're going to continue. Might be living along with this pest, but we will still be able to produce. The government of Belize has already committed $500,000 to a pilot project that will see this biological control applied to fields to combat fusarium. Reporting for News 5, I am Paul Lopez.